Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the fourth grade concept of adding and subtracting fractions. This is standard 4.3e in the great state of Texas, and we are using item number 18 off the 2017 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So we have Mrs. Owen, and she's ordering these two foot-long sandwiches, which we've got right here, for her three children to share. And that's going to be a key piece of information for us right there. So the picture shows these two sandwiches. They're each cut in half. So we've got two six inches for each sandwich here. And then each child ate half a sandwich. So we've got a lot of information in this word problem not necessarily represented with digits. There's not a single digit in this entire word problem. You have to read our keywords like three children and two sandwiches cut in half and there's half a sandwich for each child. We are looking for the fraction that represents the number of sandwiches that the children ate. This is going to be big. Well, you know what we're not looking for is the fraction that represents the number of sandwiches that the that Mrs. Owen bought. That's a different answer, and we'll find that in just a moment. But we are not looking for what Mrs. Owen bought, because what Mrs. Owen bought is actually pictured on the screen for us right there, those two foot-long sandwiches. We're looking to see what the children ate, and I see here that I've got three children. So uh, let's just draw three children. Let's say we've got a boy and two girls. What are they going to eat? Well, I'm not going to try to draw those sandwiches because those are very complex drawings. What I am going to do is I'm just going to draw, if I can do it correctly, like a half a circle for each. It's going to kind of represent my half right there. So I can pretend, maybe I'll draw the other half of the circle for this girl right here. So we'll pretend that the first boy, the boy and the first girl here eat that first sandwich. And then the second girl here is going to eat, there we go, that second half of, or the first half of that second sandwich. So what do we have here? We're looking now for the, the number that represents uh, the number of sandwiches the children ate, and we've got one half, and we've got one half, and we've got one half. Well, you can see visually, if I wanted to put these two together, I could. Right, so I can get a hole right here. Those two together make a hole, which makes sense. The first boy and the first girl would kind of eat that first sandwich, that whole sandwich. And then the second one would only get half of it eaten. That second sandwich is going to get that first half eaten by that second girl. But then it doesn't look like anyone, at least according to our problem, is really eating that second half. So it looks like I've got one and a half sandwiches, but we don't necessarily see one and a half represented here. So let's go back to this because we can actually do an addition problem here. Let me pull it out. One half plus one half plus one half. When you add fractions, there are two things you need to keep in mind. Number one, you must have equal denominators. So we have all of our denominators as a 2, and that's fine. That's exactly what we need. But number 2, you don't touch the denominators. Once you get them to be the same, you don't touch them. You don't add them. You don't change them. You just leave them the same. And so what we do is we add straight across 1 plus 1 plus 1. That's going to make 3 because there's 3 portions. But then we don't touch a denominator. 2 plus 2 plus 2 makes 2. These suddenly don't become sixths just because you added them up. I've got three halves, and so three halves is equal to one and a half. These two are equal. One is an improper fraction. One is a mixed number, and that is going to be the number that the children ate. If we want to know how much Mrs. Owen bought, that's the tricky part. Look at that, four halves, which is another option. That's what's represented here is four halves, but we need F, three halves. 